Plenty of people are excited to know what kind of customization we're likely to be getting in Battlefield 1. World War 1 really was the dawn of modern weaponry and thus the attachments created were very unique and only just starting to really come into production. DICE have stated they have some cool stuff to show us soon, but it seems we might know a little bit more already. I spoke the other day in another video about different packs that you might get depending on which version of the game you buy, and that they included stylized variants of other weapons. Well, it seems that trend is extending into the full multiplayer as well. There's an image on screen now showing what you get if you pre-order or buy the early Enlister Deluxe Edition of the game. And you can see quite clearly that in the bottom two descriptions, they both mention skins being part of Battlefield 1. The box with the Zeppelin icon reads three exclusive large vehicle designs, meaning the train, battleship and Zeppelin will be reskinned. And under the battle pack heading, we have receive five battle packs for a chance at rare and unique weapon skins. Now, this can mean many things, so let's explore just a little bit. First off, Battlefield 1 will have a layer of cosmetic customization. Great. My concern, though, is authenticity. We're gaming in a World War I era, so what kind of weapon customization fits into that realm? We can't have soldiers running around with neon pink Springfield rifles and dick butt stickers on their back. That just isn't going to fly. What we can say is, there have already been mentions of what kind of skins we can expect, and there's some images that we've got as well. Here in the Harlem Hellfighter pack, we have a skinned 1911 pistol, 1897 trench gun, and bolo knife. The 1911 has the unit number etched onto the barrel with the insignia on the handle. The trench gun has go forwards or die engraved into the stock and with some more etching on the barrel. And the bolo knife has the unit number on it as well. I think this is the kind of customization that we can expect. Different versions of weapons that are in the game, stylized in different ways to fit the time period. Like with the five battle packs containing rare skins. If that is really true, and there are some rare styles that you only have a slim chance of obtaining, then this could add a lot more value to the battle pack system, which for me right now, I'll admit, is almost a worthless part of Battlefield. In BF4, they're so common that it's just unreal, and they don't really offer anything tangible for your hard work in the game. So if Battlefield 1 does go down the route of including weapon skins, how would you like them to work? For me personally, I think working your way up through the ranks and obtaining packs at key points would be a good way to incentivize players to continue playing and work towards their next rank. I think also having them as prizes for completing community missions and assignments in game would work well, but the overall theme needs to be about the rarity. There's no point spamming people with these things, especially when the items inside them are considered rare. So throwing these packs at them all the time is probably not a good way to do things. Let's look at Battlefield 4 right now. We have bronze, silver and gold battle packs along with individual battle packs for each weapon within the game. I think that's maybe slightly too many. If we could get rid of the battle packs for each of the weapons and stick with the bronze, silver and gold tiering, that's a good idea. You can make the bronze ones more frequent and have those for just standard unlocks and things like that. And going all the way up to gold, if you get a chance to open one of those, then there's a chance you'll get one of the rare items. I think it's key that these packs are obtainable. You want to make sure people can achieve the goal of unlocking one of these things, but you want to make sure that somebody has to work to get it as well. It all goes into that mindset of making sure that it's rare enough that it actually feels like something you've achieved in game. Right now in Battlefield 4, they're just so frequent that they kind of just lose all meaning. It's just part of the system. Whereas if you could make them rarer and more desirable, I think there are plenty of people out there that would happily sit through the ranking system and work their way towards them. But how do you think they should work? Maybe you've got a different idea to me. Let me know down in the comments.
Battlefield 1 and cosmetic customization, I think this is a good move by DICE. A good way to give more players options to make their experience feel a little bit more unique. It is their own experience if you give them more options to make it so. Also, perhaps it gives them the chance to flesh out the loadout system with some new ideas. Cosmetics are certainly a big thing in the FPS scene right now. You only need to look at CSGO to realise that. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to leave your thoughts on customization down below in the comments. And while you're down there, drop me a like as well. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.